Thank you, moderator. I will try to speak English for the fact that uh, the moderator failed to provide me an interpreter and a translator. <laughs> you fail. <laughs> so I will try to speak English. The best travel deal I've ever experienced. Travel almost 30 hours, here for almost a week, and will only speak for 10, 12 minutes. <laughs> best deal. <laughs> I bought the time, allowed and given to the missing speakers. That's the reason they're not here. Okay. I bought the time, so I will talk, talk, talk <laughs> until you fall asleep. <laughs> but not the remaining speaker. The remaining speaker has only 10 minutes. Me, 10, 10, 10, me, so 30 minutes. So I'm, I'm good. Making a boring presentation this time of the hour after good lunch is a very bad idea. But look at the pictures, uh, they're my presentation, so enjoy the photos uh, to give you a wake uh, while I will pr uh, proceed with my boring notes. Now, how do you do this? Casselelia, greetings. It's very, very same greetings with the Hawaiian, Aloha, and uh, my good friend, Attorney General from Samoa. They say uh, Talofa. Simple. One word for two meanings. Hello and goodbye. Hi and get lost. That's, that's how I translate it in my end. On a serious note, uh, my special greetings to each and every one of you, Casilelia. Amongst many parrot species in the world, this fairy one can only be found in Panape, the capital island state of Federated States of Magnesia. This too reminds us that God works miraculously and mysteriously. Time is of essence and indispensable. Thus, my presentation is gonna be very short, simple. So that's my mission here. Okay. Magnesia. Federated States of Magnesia. Simple. dive into the heart of exotic Micronesia. That is the map of where I'm from, Federated States of Micronesia. And when you are welcome to the heart of Micronesia, don't get lost. That's the map. <laughs> don't dive into the wrong place. Otherwise, you're not going to be back from the water. See, I'm good, eh? fast, and furious. <laughs> OK. Since arrival, me and Attorney General and his lovely wife, on Friday evening, they asked him, where are you from? Samoa. Oh, I know where Samoa is. And you, where are you from? Micronesia. Huh? Where the heck is Micronesia? So that's Micronesia. Two words in two one to make Micronesia. Micro means large and big, gigant. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. AG, thanks for correcting me. Tiny. Tiny is a bad word to use. Bad choice of word. So I'm going to use small. Small, and Nisia means islands. Total area is, uh, if I will find it, total area is 3.4 million square miles. 
1,300 miles north to south, 2,600 miles east to west, equivalent to America. That's the reason I need translator because I cannot speak English. Okay. But the landmass, because we are from the tiny islands, is only 1,000 square miles. This is the former uh, trust territory of the Pacific Islands. Micronesia includes Republic of the Marshall Islands. Don't turn off the light because I don't want them to see only my teeth because of the color of my skin is dark. <laughs> Leave the lights on. Thank you. Where, where, where was I? <laughs> Republic of the Marshall Islands, Federated States of Micronesia, and Republic of Palau. Also included in the ge geographical region are Guam, an unincorporated territory of USA, and independent nations of Nauru and Kiribati. FSM, acronym, is an independent sovereign island nation and a United States associated state consisting of four states. From west to east, Yap, Chuk, Pohnpei, and Koshai. FSM, formerly part of the Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands, a United Nations Trust Territory under the U.S. administration, but it formed its own constitutional government on May 10th, 1979, becoming a sovereign state after independence was attained on November 3rd, 1986, under a compact of free association with the United States, meaning we are free to enter, work, don't get married, go back to FSM and find your wife or husband back there, but don't get married in the US, just kidding. That's the map of Panape. Population area is 130 square miles. Population 34K. Panape Island is the largest. She made mention that Babuanokini is the largest, but Panape is the largest too, but it is in FSM. <laughs> and, uh, most developed single island in the FSM. Let's, uh, Bombay known as its melting butt. Now I will ask the moderator to pass out the test papers because all of those are blank. And if you get wrong, you will stay here until six o'clock. Okay, fill in the blanks. Ethnicity, Pohnpeians, 81%. Chukis, Yapis, and Koshayans, 9%. Filipinos, 8%. Others, 2%. Religion. Protestant, 36%, Catholic, 55%, Mormon, the most rapid growing religious nomination in Panape, now it's 7%. Others, like uh, Seven Day Assembly, Apostolic, this goes on, is uh, 2%. Interesting to note that zero non-Christian, meaning we will go to heaven first and then Samoa, 
Pak Banduk ini. <laughs> Sorry, I have to keep you awake. I'm worried about you falling asleep on me. Okay, where am I? Where is the ship? Run away from me. Anyway. Where, oh, how do how do go back? Now I'm lost. I shouldn't have listened to you. Oh, that's the ship. Morning Star from Boston. 1852, Protestant missionaries from Boston arrived to Pompeii. Based on the request of first woman, World Council of Churches, named Esther from Hawaii. A church was established and eventually burned down due to the introduction of chicken box, not by the missionaries, but by the whalers. Importance of having a clear cut communications. The missionaries were blamed for introducing chicken box. So they burned out, burned down the church and then eventually moved up. Uh, Osamu San can help. They move up to Matelinim, where the mother church of the Mormon is. And uh, that first church back in 1852, the mother church, my church. In social activities, religion prevails. Anyway, follow your uh, handout. Importance and values of religion plays a priority. Quick story about the king. Oh, we're just, we're like uh, Tonga, Samoa, we have the kingship. Who converted to Christianity out of a Genu back July 1852. He was on a Genu and the battlers, the servants were battling him. Don't expect a bay liner and 130 horsepower back in 1852 on the islands. And he saw a man under the tree reading something, and he was going to shoot him because the king on our islands allowed to kill. No court, no nothing back in those days. So he, was try, try to, he tried to use him for target, the man, the man reading the Bible, the rival, the Khan, was not able to go, not fire, up in the air, boom. There goes the gun. Then try to hem that man again. No, doesn't work. Up in the air, worked. So he, he was curious, that king. So he asked the, uh, the battlers to battle him to the shore for him to find out who is this man and what he's doing. Uh, when they approach him, the king asked him, his name, and he said, he told the king that his name is Joseph. What are you reading? The answer was a Bible. So right there and then, he was converted to Christian. He told Joseph, your God is my God. And he threw away the gun. Can you help me to find where I'm at? Stop looking at your watch. Can you find me where I'm at? <laughs> Oops. Okay, how do you go back? Don't charge the time, trying to find it. Okay. Where, here? Right here?
Okay, it is the kingship still recognized. As traditional leaders refer people as the king, custom regarding the people and the king. Our non-market's role or the king in the community is to maintain the peace, harmony, and unity. Perform community rituals dealing with harvest from the sky, ground, and water. It is not we're harvesting anything from the sky, ground, or water. Means the fruits that, that we harvest, and then the ground is whatever we planted, the yam and those things, and then the water is the marine resources that we harvest. Uh, we offer thanksgiving to the king, and the king turn around to ask that we all do the same thanksgiving to the Heavenly Father. Political organization, we have three le levels of the government. The municipal, it is equal to county. The state is equal to Utah State. And then the federal, which is the uh, national government, we call them. Traditional organization, under political organization, uh, we have two lineages. One is the kingship, and one uh, the people's representative, as they call it. Social control, we have the respect to the elders, to the kings, and we have offerings, apologies when there is an offense uh, with the sakao and other ceremonies for, as for forgiveness with the chiefs, family heads, and clan leaders. I think Attorney General from Samoa would love to work in Pompeii because we don't, the jail, the prison is empty and we need to put somebody in there. And why I made mention of the uh, Attorney General from Samoa? Because he's gonna be sleeping and getting paid because uh, no grants. They start late and now they're pushing us to finish early. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. You're gonna pay me two minutes because I will finish this in one minute. Conclusion, no, he likes that. <laughs> Panape is known to be very peaceful, harmonious, and very unity. Promoted through the local traditions and customs based on the teaching and acceptance of Christianity that are supported by the current laws and the tradition. Fast forward, this wraps up my uh, brief presentation for this afternoon. Thank you very much. No questions. <laughs>